Okay, uh, boy, it feels great to be out there first day of spring. Um, you know, just our attitude of our players. Uh, they, you know, they want to be coached, they want to be strained. Uh, you know, you can tell we're a close group. Uh, you know, we let, let all three groups uh, get reps. A little ugly, obviously, when you have that many guys, but the attitude was great. Uh, really excited, uh, really proud of our staff, the way they were. They coached and their approach today too. So overall, it was great. Um, you know, and then we'll practice tomorrow on helmets only. Uh, we'll take a day off. Uh, we'll go Thursday with uh, shoulder pads, and then Saturday with shoulder pads. But overall, a uh, good first day with just our approach to the whole thing. Questions? I watched your uh, on Twitter. They posted your speech to the team, the team meeting. Just how big this is. This is the first team that's going into the Big Twelve. Can you talk about the significance of that and how important this spring is to to form the building blocks that'll yeah, be that team? Uh, you know, spring to me is about building your foundation. We do have uh, two new coordinators, uh, just building you know who we are, identity, offensively, defensively, special teams wise. Um, really, that's our approach. And spring is a. Uh, is a time I really believe that you can outwork people, outprepare people. And so that's our challenge to our players, that's our challenge to our coaches. Um, you know, one day under our belt, you know, feel good about where we're at, long way to go. You mentioned this week's schedule. What's kind of the plan the rest of the spring, scrimmages and whatnot? Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll have two scrimmages and then of course we'll have our spring game. Our spring game will be a little more fan oriented. <laughs> Uh, than it has been in the past, which I think that'll be good for our fans. It's going to be on a Friday night, but we'll have two good scrimmages before that, um, you know, and really gearing up for that. Uh, this week, four practices in the week, that was by design. Two with helmet only, back to back, and then, of course, we'll get our routine uh, with our shoulder pads days after that. Coach, you'll be talking about foundation. Obviously, this being the first practice, we're going to be talking about foundation throughout the spring. But there's, it feels like there should be or would be something a little bit extra going G5 to the Big 12. What's that little extra? What's that little more that you guys are going to have to uh, do and figure out as you uh, jump to the uh, Big 12? Then? Yeah, I think, you know, there's a lot of excitement going to the Big 12 and just, you know, everybody raising their level. And, uh, we got a lot of guys on our staff, uh, you know, that have been there and done that. I think that definitely helps. But uh, our players are really looking forward to the challenge. Uh, you know, the great thing about this place, they've been playing really good football against whoever the opponent's been for a long time. So it won't be a shock to these guys' system. But uh, we're really excited about going to the new conference. How do you feel that the program is different now than when you first got here? Uh, you know, I think any time the first year uh, you're, you're going into something, you know, your players are learning you, you're learning them, you're learning the school, everything that goes with it. The second year, it feels more like your team. Obviously, the third year, everything ought to be set in place, um, you know, and it just feels uh, a lot more comfortable uh, from that standpoint. Um, you know, we recruited the majority of these guys, uh, which that also helps with relationships and everything, and you recruit specifically to what you want to be really in all three phases. I think it's a spring for the quarterbacks. Uh, obviously, John Rice coming back for another year, working with the new coordinator. You got obviously Thomas and Timmy. Just how important is this spring for those quarterbacks? And is there, would you obviously consider John Rice QB1 for now, but is there an ongoing competition? Yeah, we're going to compete at every position. You know, John Rice is going through spring and playing baseball. And, you know, Thomas, you could tell a difference in him today than, than last year. And then Timmy, obviously, getting the chance to go out there. But we're going to let those guys compete. We'll create them each day, and uh, we'll do that all positions. We got to watch a little bit of practice this morning. In our portion of the viewing session, I saw that, you know, when they were going up-tempo down the field with the one, two, threes, Darren was the guy, you know, right next to the quarterback when you were off to the side. I know he's the offensive coordinator to call him the play. Now, what was that like for you? on the side more, maybe watching more. Yeah, yeah, you know, being, being a, uh, you know, more of a, you know, with the defense, special teams, offense, all of the above. And um, so, you know, it feels, feels natural as far as that goes, but I'm excited for him, excited for our offense. Last year this time, you had said that the defensive front of that group was kind of an area of focus for, uh, you know, building up this team. Now your, your requirement efforts have kind of tipped this a little bit, but would you say that the offensive line is kind of that point of focus this year? Yeah, I think, you know, when you're going into a new conference, you've got to be, you know, good up front on both sides of the football. And 
I do think we've got some experienced guys on both sides. Uh, we have a lot of guys to, to really uh, you know, work with and develop and all that. You can't have enough depth on you know, either line of scrimmage, you know, obviously going into your conference. Back on John Rice, how have you worked with Coach Lovelady to manage John Rice's time? Yeah, we're talking on a weekly basis, you know, uh, being able to work together. Obviously, he's playing very well right now in baseball. And, you know, he had a very good day today, too, so you know, we're working together. And uh, that was our plan, you know, with recruiting. Coach, can you elaborate a little bit more on why spring is so fundamental moving into the fall and, and have, giving your team to have a chance to win a championship? Yeah, you know, when, when I say develop a foundation, you, you know, is getting good at something. Uh, you're you're kind of what you're going to hang your hat on. Uh, all the fancy things and the schemes and everything, that that's more fall camp preparing. You know, this is just old school football. And, uh, who we're going to be defensively, who we're going to be offensively, who we're going to be special teams. You're developing that identity. Um, you know, your young guys, it's always exciting. The first day and the first week of the younger guys, who's taking that next step? That's something we grade our film here in just a minute from a coach's standpoint. We'll be able to, to tell. But uh, you know, it, it's simple football, football one-on-one in spring. and That's, that's a good thing about it. Do you anticipate a, a, any sort of drastic change in identity considering that there are two new coordinators in place or do you think you feel like it'll be some sort of continuity particularly on defense? Yeah, there's a lot of continuity. Out. Obviously, Darren was here two years ago, um, you know, and he's going to build upon what we were good at last year. We talked about pushing the ball down the field, you know, and so we're going to really focus on that. And then Addison, you know, uh, he's going to build upon the thing that we were good at and, you um, going to focus on getting turnovers and getting after the quarterback. That's really the two areas that uh, the defense is going to focus on you know, this spring. Coach, when you look at the at the positions, what's your biggest question this spring? Maybe what areas do you want to see answered by the end of it? Yeah, you know, I think defensively, you know, linebacker position, just, you know, getting depth. You know, that was a position that, you know, we had some injuries late. And, you know, it was a little tough situation, but just d developed there, you know. As far as the offense, it's just, you know, up front, we have some, a lot of new people playing new positions and all that. It's just developing that continuity and everything that goes with that. Coach, Alex Ward is a player that hopes to get drafted next month. Can you talk a little bit about the person and player that he is? Yeah, he's a phenomenal player, first of all. Uh, he was one of our leaders, which that's rare for a deep snapper. So he'll make it. He'll, he'll play in that league a long time, I believe. And, uh, you know, excited for him. He's got everything it takes. Coach, you had to hire a running backs coach. You brought back Cam Martin. Why did you feel confident that he was ready to be a position coach? Yeah, Cam, of course, was with me two years ago. Um, you know, and you know, I think the world of him. I knew he was going to have a chance to be a very, very special coach. He went off last year and did a super job with their running backs. And so, you know, he's a rising star in this business. And so. We're fortunate enough to have him. He's a great relationship guy. He knows the offense inside and out, and uh, he's going he's gonna to do a super job for us. Saw Colton Boomer in a walking boot. What happened? Yeah, yeah. In our drills before we left for spring ball, he rolled his ankle. He'll be he'll be back. We think he'll be back before spring. And the good thing about it is we know what we're getting with him. It gives these other guys a chance to show what they can do. Coach, what do you think about some of these role changes they're proposing to speed up the game, you know, running clock after first downs, and you can, you know, ice the kicker with a second timeout, some of these things. What do you think about that? Yeah, you know, they've been talking about these things for a while. So from a coach's standpoint, it's really not a shock. You know, they're trying to shorten the game and make it more fan friendly and all that. So it's just about adapting right now from a coach's standpoint, um, you know, whatever rules there is. But like I said, it's, it's nothing that, going to catch anybody off guard. Towards the, uh, the end of the season, you were talking a little bit more about Kingdom NIL and the collective. Mm -hmm. How would you describe that relationship between football and athletics and, and Kingdom? Yeah, I mean, that's a big part of, of you know, everyone's success, I mean, our success here, how well we'll do in the Kingdom and the collective. I mean, it's you know, keeping up with, uh, you know, the rest of college football, being competitive. Just from a head coach's standpoint, that's been really my major focus. Um, has something to do with why I'm not calling plays anymore, too. It's just the new age of college football, and you know I'm doing everything I can to help us be 
competitive in that area. How do you think that's going? It's going going good. I mean, it's going good right now. We've had really good re uh, response, but it's a full time job, you know, right now. Coach, uh, you mentioned incoming players, freshmen, and you know, transfers. How have they integrated from the first day they got here to now? Yeah, you know, just comparing today from last last year, we had like sixteen new transfers. We had some older guys, and now we have a little less, um, you know, transfers coming in, but. It felt really good. Um, you could just feel the, the camaraderie. You could feel the team aspect. I know talking to Coach Dawson, the seven week period uh, that we had before spring break was better than the first two years. So I think the trajectory of everything from a team standpoint it is, is really in a good spot right now. Coach, you tweeted last night, uh, it's always the, the mantra, so come, come live or the world vacations. And I you spent the weekend at Disney yeah. World. How was that experience? Yeah, uh, well, first of all, just get a chance to, to be around our kids, our grandkids, that's always special. Uh, Disney's a challenge at times, but uh, a lot of real good family moments uh, with them. And of course, Disney is, is off the charts good. I think everybody knows that. And, we didn't have to leave for spring break. That's a first. So uh, live for the world vacations. It's a pretty cool deal. Coach, with you guys uh, back here, with, you, with this being you know just a few months away from joining the Big Twelve, and you guys going to be one of the first teams to be the official ones for you, yet to be in the Big Twelve. Do you guys feel that even now with spring with spring practice, that sense of pressure, that sense of you know chip on your shoulder, kind of like prove you guys prove yourself so that you guys belong in this conference? Oh yeah, there's no doubt. You know this program has a chip on its shoulder way before I got here. Like I said, they've been playing really good football before I got here. Really good football against Power Five teams, you know, and big bowl games and all that. So it's not a shock to our system. It's a challenge for our players. They're looking forward to. They're excited. I know that you know they've been looking forward to this moment, you know, before I got here. So now it's here. It's just about season moment. But we have the right leadership, I feel like, from a player standpoint. Uh, but yeah, we'll, we'll definitely have our chip a chip on our shoulder, you know, going into this new conference. Did it, feel, did it feel different today, walking out onto that field, knowing that there's only a few months away from being officially in the Big 12? Yeah, I think so. I think the urgency and seizing the moment when you have an opportunity. You know, I know everybody, you know, I hear, hey, we're just happy to be there. No, no, we're, we want to win a championship. Now, is that easy? No. But, you know, that's that's what this program is all about. That's why, you know, players want to come here and play. Coaches want to come here and coach. As, uh, you know, this, this program's about championships, and that's our goal. It's, it's a big goal, but uh, something our guys are looking forward to. Okay, so appreciate it. Thank you, Coach.